this time of year, New Jersey always has, um, they're getting the fish that we've already had. So the, the fish are migrating past Long Island and they're heading down to Jersey. So we figured, let's go to Jersey. Let's, let's, uh, let's get out on, uh, on this guy's boat. So um, I work with Ray Fish Tag Research and um, I know that there's, there's a, a captain out of Northern New Jersey, out of Highlands, New Jersey that uh, could possibly get us out. So I made contact with him and, and made arrangements to get Polly and I out on his boat. And that's uh, Chuck Manny from the Thai Man. That's the name of his boat. And uh, so we, we set it up and, and it w at first we thought it was gonna be like right away. And then all of a sudden it was like, all right, it's, he gave us a date like two and a half weeks away. And I'm like, God, I hope the fish are still there. So, uh, so as that progressed, as we got closer, I'm saying, well, you know, we're gonna have to leave the dock at the crack of dawn. I mean, to get to, to that part of Jersey, it's, it's a two hour ride at least, two, two and a half hour ride. I don't wanna get up at two o'clock in the morning to get there in time. So I said, let's go the day before. So if we're gonna go the day before, let's surf fish it. So, um, you know, I, I, I let Paulie know, I said, I, like, we're gonna go the day before, I booked the hotel and, uh, and we'll spend the day on the beach. And as we got closer, Paulie was like, maybe we should bring stuff and, and go black fishing. And I'm like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to totally discount that because let's face it, if the surf wasn't doing anything, then black fish would be a good alternative at some of the jetties. But, but my goal really was to get on, on bass out of the surf in Jersey. Like why we? It's like let's just let's get out there, let's give it a shot, and and then we'll see what we can do. You know, we'll see what we can put together. Number one, literally, we were down at the water's edge at seven thirty. By eight o'clock, I had three fish. Um, I was throwing a top water plug with a teaser, and I, I'm thinking that the fish were feeding on uh, sand eels or something small uh, because they kept grabbing the teaser. fish at that parking field and that's when Polly switched over to a teaser and the fish were gone then yeah I took all the time in the world to just tie on a teaser and it wasn't even like a legit teaser I had a quarter ounce bucktail that I tie found it in my backpack did a little drop loop threw the bucktail on there and then all the fish were gone so that at that point we were like all right let's let's run and gun this let's let's find fish Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Woo -hoo. What the heck? What a 
What is happening? <laughs> Foul hooks. <laughs> Just kidding. Brian, come help me. It's gonna snap. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Get the freaking fish! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> what? Dude. Can you get him? <laughs> hold the rod, hold the rod, hold the rod. Hold the rod. <laughs> what? <laughs> Give a scale? No. Holy crap. No, I don't. Dude, this is heavier than any 42 I've ever caught. Huh? All right, well, first fish of the day for me, first fish of the Jersey trip. And it's a 42 inch beast. It's the fattest, heaviest fish, honestly, I've ever, I've ever caught around that size. To be honest, this, this, is, this is over 35, just in weight. But we're gonna hold it. We got a tag in it for great fish tag. Trying to grab it. Oh, all right. There we go. Look at that fish. We're gonna hold it till it's ready. It's a lot easier to do when the surf isn't crazy. Heads up, Brian. Heads up. Come on. Kick off. All right, so. It wasn't foul hooked. <laughs> it was a big fish. That's crazy. Let's see if there's more. Yeah, we, that thing was insane. Compared to all the other fish that you'll hear about and you'll see in the other videos, this fish was like double the width of all the other yeah, fish it was, that we it was caught. just engorged with, I'm, I'm thinking bunker, um, because it was tons of peanut bunker in the area. So I think it was just so engorged with bunker that it, it, it was just totally fatted out. Yeah. Like, yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full of bunker. It had already here. eaten its Thanksgiving dinner because it, it was it was just a fat fish. So for 43 inches, we're estimating it was 40 plus pounds, just over 40 pounds, 42 maybe. Yeah. Uh, but definitely a 40 pound fish. Uh, we'll do a little spoiler. We were catching fish in that size range <coughs> a lot. And uh, we weighed them at about, what was it, 36 to 38 ish. Mm -hmm. So this one being nearly double the size of, the, of any other fish is, had to be over 40. But So we said, uh, let's run and gun, let's, let's head south. Um, so, uh, Polly goes on Google Maps and he sees an inlet and we're like, all right, let's get to that inlet. So the wind picked up a lot and it's coming out of the north now, so it's running right down the beach. So it's making casting and working baits really, really difficult because with these, the, these swimming plugs that we're using, like SPs or topwater stuff like that, you kind of have to have a tight line with that to make them work properly. Otherwise, you're just getting swept through. I mean, you can catch fish like that. That's a technique, but we weren't catching anything out there. Uh, it seems like it got kind of shallow, like an outgoing tide right now. We're going to look for some more spots and uh, hopefully get onto some more fish. It doesn't have to be big 40s and stuff like that, but to, to catch some more fish, that'd be really great. Um, 
Yeah, we're, we jam-packed the truck with rods and gear, and it's just like, now we're eating Pop-Tarts, and I think we're gonna go, we'll find somewhere else to fish. But, but we did see an area where there was some good bird activity. They were definitely picking away a bait in water, and we were like, well, let's let's go, and, and it was really only a couple of blocks back from where we where the inlet was. So we, we said, ah, oh, let's go back over there. So we went, went over there, we got our stuff back on, parked the truck and got down to the beach. And um, there was nothing going on at first, but we could definitely see there was fish activity out further than we could cast. So just the, the hope was that those fish were gonna come in close enough for us to reach them. We caught a couple and then Paulie went down further and actually walked out on one of the jetties um, to get a better angle at them because they were out just off of that jetty like crazy. Of course the camera wasn't recording. We're into some blitzing bass. They're jumping all over the place. Got them on a half ounce bucktail. Look at those bellies. Look at that belly. Mwah. Wow. Wow. I got bunker on my feet. This is insane. This is madness. There's stripers everywhere. Look at this. Holy cow. Holy cow. I got them slapping my bucktail. What is going on? There we go. There we go. Look at them all. I have never seen it like this before. Jeez. Wow. Look at all the stripers going after the bunker. There we go. That's a nicer one. That's a nicer one. Look at that wave. Look at that. That's a good one for sure. That's a slot fish. Let's get, let's get that full of fish. Look at that stomachs. Mwah. Look at that. That that is that that stripers right there, pushing a whole pot of bunker <clears throat> right into me. Like I'm gonna hook up any second, any second. Look at all that bunker. Look at all that bunker. Here we go. This is crazy. And it's not just the bunker that are visual. Like you can see every single strike. You can cast to your fish. You can ca you can pick a fish. Look at all that bunker. Look at all that. There's bunker stuck on the rocks. Look, there's a bunker stuck on that rock. Look at all that. It was absolute <clears throat> chaos. I have never seen anything quite like this in my life. Like you said, they were pushing bunker onto the beach. You were standing and all it was was bunker at your feet, stripers eating at your feet. And you could pick whatever striper you wanted. If you had good accuracy, you could just, you could pitch a little jig at them and then all of a sudden you just watch it, watch it, boom, you're hooked into a striper. It was bonkers. Yeah, we were catching fish like, like it was nothing, like it was going out of style. And the way that it is over there, um, just south of, of Sandy Hook, they have jetties every couple hundred yards. And then where I was, there was actually this pipe in between the two jetties, so it made it a little bit smaller. And these bass were just throwing bunker inside here, and it was just, you could walk across the bunker. It was absolutely insane. The waves would come up and there'd be bunker and stripers and the waves crashing down. Man, it was like, I was surprised I didn't get any in my mouth. At one, at one point in my video, it, uh, you hear me say, this is just like you see in those videos on YouTube. And, I, and I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> this isn't going to be a YouTube video. You know, yeah. because I've seen guys fishing, uh, I've never had that on Long Island. 
Uh, we fish there until sundown, until sunset. Um, we actually, uh, we saw we saw a good blitz happen on off the front of the next jetty. So, so we all right, let's get over there. So we walk. By the time we hit the jetty, yeah, that blitz was gone. It was there the entire time. The, yeah, the, the whole walk. walk. We start walking to the jetty, get halfway down the jetty, and they're like, yeah, no, and then darted back to where we started. It's like, what the heck? It's like they knew we were coming, and yeah. they're like, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, so when, once it died off, I mean, it was a beautiful sunset, but you could definitely tell it was getting cold quick. Um, not that it was ever really that warm because it was so windy that day. Uh, we had uh, northwest winds, um, which was good for fishing because, you know, it was kind of at, at your back, a little bit at your left ear, but, but at your back. So it, it didn't affect how, you know, our cast other than maybe a little sweep. Um, so it was getting colder. We said, all right, let's head back. Let's let head out. We'll go to the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then came back and to finish filling out all the tags for the day and logging the tags into the system while Paulie fell asleep. And uh, I was out at what, like 8.30 or something? Yeah, yeah. Dude. I, yeah, because I, I started, it took me a half hour to log the tags and I was done by 9.30. Well, everybody, we are back at the hotel. We are going to be uh, just chilling out and charging up batteries, charging up ourselves. We're going back out, leaving uh, around, we're waking up around five o'clock to go into the boat. So hopefully we catch some big 50s. That's what the targets, target size is for these stripers that we're going after. I think we're going for, with using eels, right? Yes. All right. Yeah, we're gonna try to use some eels and I am so shot. We went out to eat and uh, we got some food that's gonna knock, make, <laughs> make us knock out. Uh, we're just so tired. But uh, yeah, here we go. Day one complete, we caught fish, we caught big fish, we caught a lot of fish, and we fished all day long. So here we go, on to day two of Jersey. Let's go.